Today the U-2 spy plane is going to shoot down the International Space Station. How, I hear you say? Yeah, the U-2 doesn't have any missiles. That's correct. But it's going to shoot down the International Space Station with nothing but truth. I've taken, you guessed it, an image from the Cygnus cargo ship, which is supposedly just docked with the International Space Station today. And I've obviously taken an image of James May and his U-2 plane at 70,000 feet. And I've blended the two together. But what makes this even better here is we've got the space station up close and personal with us. And then we've got the supposed curvature in the background. Now, what really destroys this and highlights the fact this is fake is the fact that the solar panels and the Canada arm and the Cygnus cargo ship are displaying no curvature from the lens whatsoever. Which means the cargo ship, the ISS, have been layered in on top of this curved background. Oops. So let's have a look at the layer as I blend the U2 image from 70,000 feet with the International Space Station supposedly 245 miles up and surprise, surprise, we've got the same amount of curvature yet again. So let's have a quick look. Space Station, 245 miles. Blended to the U-2 spy plane, 70,000 feet. It's the same curve. International Space Station with the Cygnus cargo ship docked. And the U-2 spy plane at 70,000 feet. Coming back to the ISS. And I think we'll pause it there. If the curvature being the same wasn't bad enough, proving that it's nothing but optical and not physical. What makes this even worse for NASA is the fact there's no warping of the solar panels, proving the ISS hasn't been filmed by the, ca um, by the camera that's filmed the horizon, the curved horizon in the background. It's been layered in. Otherwise, we'd see curvature on the solar panels, the Canada arm, and the Cygnus supply ship. We don't which means this is obviously being layered in. It looks ridiculous anyway. It looks like computer graphics have been layered in to U2 spy plane footage. And if this was true, and of course it was, the curve was as a result of the lens, which of course we know it is, based on James May's citation of curvature for 70,000 feet, then we'd have curvature affecting the solar panels and the Canada arm, just like we've seen in the past. But we don't. Everything's straight and as it should be. The only thing that's curved is the horizon in the background, proving that the background is separate to the space station, i.e. the space station's been layered in. Oops! Again, the U-2 has just destroyed the globe narrative. 249 miles up. 70,000 feet. Same amount of curvature. But like I say, what really destroys this is there's no warping of the solar panels here, which proves 100% the space station has been layered in here. Otherwise, we'd have optical effects of the curved lens, which is obviously curved, because you can't have the same amount of curvature at 70,000 feet as you do at 245 miles. We've proved that in the past. The curvature is only as an effect of the optics and not physical. And when we've blended the two here, and when we've highlighted the fact there's no warping of the solar panels, it becomes rather obvious that the ISS has been layered in here to this curved high altitude footage background. Oops! The U-2 plane has just destroyed the ISS narrative and of course the globe yet again.